Hi, I'm Lerato Bering. Um, I just want to introduce myself. I am a, an associate director at Stevenson Gallery. Um, I work at the Johannesburg branch and I'm a curator. Curating is managing artists' careers, um, conceptualizing exhibitions, um, making them happen. I suppose constantly I'm looking. I'm looking at what artists are doing, I'm looking at the art scene, I'm continuously exploring, looking for new things, looking for new artists, um, but managing the artists that we work with already. That's what my job is, to make things happen. I found out at some point during my fine art degree at Rhodes University. I'm from Lesotho um, and I guess I had grown up in a relatively creative family in kind of literature. I have author, author grandparents and author uncles um, and my dad is very uh, very much of a wordsmith. So I grew up around creativity of a different form and I always knew that um, I was interested in, in, in the kind of creative realm. And when I was little um, and when I was in high school, I was really good at art and I really enjoyed it and um, was curious. Um, but I wasn't exposed to very much. Um, so it was a curiosity that led me into doing what I'm doing now. Um, I didn't want to be an artist and then I became interested more in other people's art and what there is to know about art and how art has, has served as a vehicle for um, various very interesting uh, moments in the world. Um, so for me it became clear that I wanted to do something within the arts that did not require me to make art. It's a good thing to know that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that's how I knew. My job is is anything but typical. It's quite atypical. Um, you do a variety of different things at any given time, um, depending on artist needs um, or exhibition needs or whatever show you are working on. Uh, for instance, I just did a show about sex, and that a lot of it required me to go to like porn shops and look around for sex things so I wouldn't say my job is typical but I guess the day-to-day -day, there is a standard kind of day-to-day -day, um, thing that I do which is the boring stuff, the admin, the, the kind of management thing that nobody um, really likes to talk about. I think the bulk part of my job is having conversations, interesting conversations with interesting people, um, speaking to interesting collectors and clients, um, introducing them to certain artists, um, having regular studio visits with artists that I work with closely, um, which is great because it's always teaching me new things. Um, through artists you see the world really. It's important, um, based on our location, not having so much, um, you know, traffic in terms of collectors and, and institutions, um, and really not having very many art institutions in the country. It's important that we travel and, and um, kind of continuously stay in the international conversation. We do a lot of art fairs, um, which is uh, most of the traveling that I do every year. Um, we do Freeze New York, uh, we just did Armory, we do Art Basel, um, we do Art Basel Miami, we do Paris Photo. Um, so it's great, we get to see a different many, many, many different scenes, but um, also have many, many, many interesting conversations with people that I would otherwise probably not meet. The day-to-day -day is, is sometimes quite um, regular and, and admin-y, um, but more often than not, uh, I'm doing things that I've never done before every day. Every challenge that you're faced with, you need to find a solution for, um, you need to learn about um, in order to find the solution. So I guess there's no real um, standard um, thing that I would say is the most difficult part. It's also challenging sometimes, you know, working with, with artists, you know, there's so many personalities and so many um, ways of working and so many ways of having conversations. So I guess it's about finding a rhythm. It's like having 10 different relationships with, you know, um, different people and trying to figure out the language for each person. And once you get it, you get it. And that's part of the job.
Now that the, the universities offer curatorial courses, a lot of people go straight for that, um, which is one way, um, and then start interning at, at uh, galleries and museums, I suppose. It's very important as a curator to constantly look. Keep your eye on things. Um, learn from artists. It's not, you know, there's this misconception that the curator is like the one who makes the decisions and who like, but without artists, there's, there's no curator. So for me, it's really part of my curatorial process always in every show or any project that I've done is learning from artists, having those conversations that then form the curatorial concept. Um, I, I have, yeah, I've found it the most rewarding way to work. Um, speak to artists, develop your project around the conversations that you have. You don't necessarily have to use the conventional definition of the term um, in order to explore, explore the realm. Think laterally, I would say. Um, figure out what it is you're truly interested in. Don't copy and paste, um, and then run with that. Um, there's nothing, there's no wrong, wrong direction, I'd say. I have a show at the gallery, at Stevenson Gallery, um, which I curated and it's about sex. Um, and so that's one project that I, one big project I just did. Um, every year I do a project in Murija in Lesotho, where I'm from. Um, and this is curating a set of conversations. Last year I decided to bring artists um, and screen artist videos. Um, and this year I'm going to do something relating to, I think, feminism at the moment in relation to patriarchy. Check it out in Murija in Lesotho. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and all of those fun things. Um, but you can also find me at the gallery in Joburg and I'm always happy to have a coffee with any an interesting person for no particular reason but to have a conversation and learn more about other people and share what I know. So that's where you can find me. Okay, bye! Action. <laughs> Hi, my name is Latabo uh, Ngakani. I'm an editor. I make magazines about artists, painters, singers, writers, all sorts of people who are just doing really creative and awesome stuff in South Africa.